All right, you guys, this Friday, the Minnesota State Capitol will be celebrating Black Entrepreneurs Day. This is the second annual hosting. Last year, get this, they had over 400 black entrepreneurs come out to support. Our friend Shaletta will be presenting the event, and we have her here today with a little preview. She's going to highlight some of the entrepreneurs that will be at the event. Shaletta, look at you with your height standing Girl, oh, on the oh. box. Oh, my God. <laughs> 18 ounces and I gained like three inches. I'm looking down at people. That's going to remain a secret though, you guys, how you can get taller and lose a few ounces. Oh, you know? that's yeah. on the next TCL. Don't Yeah, that's on the next this segment. great. Okay, yes. tell us about this big day coming up. This is really exciting. This is really exciting. It's really a big deal. Black Entrepreneurs Day at the Capitol this Friday at 1130. Uh, I am expecting at least a thousand entrepreneurs. What? This year, it's outside of the metro. We've got business owners coming from Duluth. They're running buses from St. Cloud. They've got vans and caravans coming from Rochester. It is going to be amazing. 800 people have already registered, all black you, business owners in the state of Minnesota. You're not going to be able to fit in the rotunda. Yeah, well, you uh, guys have to move locations at the state Oh capital. man, we're going to be outside doing an electric slide. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be having good. a good time. So is it really about people? Is it networking? Is it are we yes. selling things or what's happening? No, 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 no. no selling anything. <laughs> but yes, networking. Yeah. It's really all about an opportunity for black business owners to get in front of legislators to talk about the unique challenges and concerns that we face. Mm -hmm. Right? So there's a rally in the rotunda at 1130 but then I've spoken to each and every business owner, whether by email, text, DM, found out where they live, where their business is, match them up with legislators who are participating, and then they get to see them one-on-one, -on -one, talk about some of the concerns they have, some of the challenges, and then what they could do to help them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then supporting each other, because creating right. that community is what's so important. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So you, uh, there's going to be a lot of companies there. You already said there's 800 people already signed up. Yeah. You have three companies that you want to highlight as well. Yes. Great companies. When Bessie called and said, we want you to come on Twin Cities Live, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Who am I going to showcase? And I went down the list of businesses who had registered to attend, and there were three black women right here in the Twin Cities who curate and make snacks. Oh, we love snacks. Yeah, we, we love, love snacks. snacks. And so I, I called the ladies and I said, can you please bring me some of your snacks? I want to showcase and highlight them on Twin Cities Live. We're going to try some. So Soul Grain is first. Okay. Sylvia and Lisa, two moms. They've got kids. Sylvia is a pastry chef. Lisa is a nutritionist. And they came up with Soul Grain. They've got flavors that you have never tasted on granola. They've got mango. They've got bread pudding. And my new favorite is purple grain. Open <laughs> it up. Are you they guys, yeah, can you have you seen open? these pictures of these women? That, like, what yeah, is like, happening Yeah, like, they're not my friends. They too pretty to be my friends. I don't have friends that they're pretty. They oh, yeah. might tempt somebody that I love. Oh, gosh. I okay, I'm getting into yeah, that. You yeah, you go for it. And their, web, and their website, is, they're crushing it with oh, that website, too. Oh, my God, the website is great. amazing. And, and so, a lot this, of this, this is so good. The packaging has to be great. Yeah, the packaging when has to be great. eating on a shelf, it's right. got to pop. It's got to pop. And they are in Kowalski's, and folks love their product. And that purple grain just came out. It is amazing. I know. It's A sweet potato casserole. I like it. Casserole is delicious. Uh, and I love it. I'm a sucker okay. for sweet potato. All right, so I got some samples for you as well. Okay. Now, Janita's Jar. Uh, Janita is a, a local entrepreneur. Her cookies are in Target. She's just decided, you know what? I'm going to make some cookies like my family made. Yeah. I mean, we're not skimping on nothing. Mm. We're going to put the real butter in there, the real vanilla, the yes. good stuff. Good you can taste Lord. it. Amen. 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 The real stuff, the real flour. Mm -hmm. You know, the real milk and stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's so amazing, and I love her so much, and I love these the ingredient list is so short. And when you look at a lot of like packaged cookies, especially like if you're a mom, right. you're seeing this list a mile long of You don't know what that stuff is. You gotta and... uh, Google that. Yeah, Come you, on, wait, 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 you, you open it. I'll just say like, you guys, it's not only just about what is on the ingredient list, it's what is not in there. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> right. No trans fats, no, no high fruct, uh, no. fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors or preservatives. And yeah. teeny, no, no, they no. They teeny. They're so you could throw these at the kids in the back. You could just throw them at the kids and just be like, here, oh, uh, like, you know, because the kids sometimes if they're in the back seat, they're hungry. They're like zoo animals. You have to throw. Yeah. Like, yeah, really, like giving quiet. treats to your dog be or quiet. something? Just stop. I'm trying to drive. You just throw it. Well, well, a lot of kids. Me once one. you hit four, once it's you like hit you four can't. kids, you just throw the food on the floor and let them go for what they yes. know. Okay. And last. so Tatiana Freeman has a company called Nosh Posh. Uh, she worked with unhoused people trying to get them and make sure they're transitioning into housing, and her position ended. And so she was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my body back. I'm gonna eat some salads, get healthy, and she just realized it was really hard for her to find a place to get good salads. So now she's got Nosh Posh, where you can get healthy 
cheese snacks and salads. She's got vending machines. So if people have like co-working spaces, she can come in, put her vending machines there, and there's popcorn, there's snacks, there's treats. I buy this popcorn for my kids. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like their products. Oh my God, it's amazing. And it's it's natural, it's healthy, and I swear to you, people who have co-working spaces like the Coven and other places, they have yes. nice posh vending machines oh, they there. Do. Yep, and you can go in and just get it out and, and have some healthy snacks in your dish. Listen, I need these to like take over college campuses. I mean, oh yes. my God. when oh my, my God. High schools are, even. Yes, when my kids are at like gymnastics and events, they always want something out of the vending machine, the hockey arenas. Like, and, she needs and, to take them over yeah. because it's so hard when you're like, I'm looking at nothing in here do nothing I want my kids here. to have. No, because they're going to be bouncing off the walls right. and it's going to be hard to put them in the bed. Right. So if those hockey arenas and no gymnastics centers can get some nosh posh uh, vending machines yeah. in their lives, it would be better I'm start for all of us. Some emails. Yeah. This is good. That was a yeah. great idea. Yeah. Shaletta. So it's always good to see you. Okay. And you just look so lengthy. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> we got to tell people they can sign up for Black Entrepreneur's Day. It's not too late to come. Shaletta may MakesMeLaugh.com is where people can register. Okay, yeah. that's so good. Perfect. That's going to happen this Friday. All right, Black Entrepreneurs Day will be held this Friday, February 16th, at the Minnesota State Capitol Rotunda. They're going to be spilling out of that Capitol with all the people. It's at 11.30 a.m. if you want to check it out for yourself. And more Twin Cities Live is coming up. we got to pick up these snacks Shaletta's throwing in.